नमस्कार टुडे इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग एंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग मेनली अबाउट थ्री ई आईस इट इज माइक्रोलॉक टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग नवेट इज इट इज कॉल्ड एज हिताची ई आई क्वेश्चन ई आई क्वेश्चन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग एंड मेधा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग बेसिक ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन apart from that let us see what is actually an electronic interlocking system it is basically a microprocessor or a microcontroller based electronic interlocking system which is nothing but a cpu or a computer the required software is already fed into the computer and it does all the processing it is a centralized point from where it is used to control signals points slots crank handles or all the equipments which are available and used in the signaling system through a visual display unit that is through a vdu interconnection diagram of input output and cpu cards in the ei system so here basically input output and cpu cards are one of the basic uh, requirements for ei how they are connected these are all the inputs that we get so let us just give some examples of inputs like uh, tprs indication of points uh, then we have ecrs all these things which are coming from yard to inside are called inputs which are given to the tag block from there we bring them to the input cards of the ei let it be kyosen ei achita ji or meda all have to be given to the input cards from input cards the data will be processed in the cpu which contains uh, e prompts and uh, ram after the process based on the interlocking and the station specific application logic we have output cards which are connected these output cards give output to pick up relays through a tag block so what are the output relays some of the examples you can consider or hr dr then point operation uh, relays then crank handle relays and all these things which are output relays what is the basic architecture of ei let us say so this is the most basic thing generally all the field inputs in the south end are connected to an object controller which is placed in the south gumti similarly north end inputs inputs in the sense all the points signals track circuits these are all coming from field to our relay room so these are connected to the object controller which is placed at the north gumti from these two the data is brought to the central or interlocking unit generally through ofc this central locking unit also is connected to opc that is op operating console 1 operating console 2 apart from that maintenance computer imtc or data logger whatever it is so the central or interlocking unit is placed in the center of the station and this is connected to your gumtis this is the basic architecture of electronic interlocking coming to the basic advantages of ei what are the advantages considered uh, when we compare it with uh, conventional relay interlocking no relays are required for interlocking function for interlocking purposes previously we used to use uh, many uh, relays uh, asrs uirs and uh, sr and sr2 tsrs all these relays which are uh, required for interlocking will not be required they are all done in digital inputs 
only interface relays are required for input and output functions what are interface relays interface means anything that is if this is ei and this is yard something that is in between so when uh, what is that in between we have a relays for example if we take a tpr the input is coming to the relay room and picks up a relay tpr from tpr the system takes the input so that tpr r nwkrs rwkrs all these are called interface relays similarly outgoing once the command is given for hr that relay hr relay is picked up this relay which picked up with the help of uh, output from our uh, output card is called the interface relay because this relay is connected between ei and your outside yard similarly relays which work on internal voltages in relay room are reduced almost by 98 percent previously internal voltage internal 24 volts were used to pick up many relays asrs ucrs all these relays are eliminated because of ei hence power consumption has reduced almost all relays for internal circuits are eliminated here you can see the examples asrs ucrs uir uir2 etc no proving relays are required smprs nwkrs rwkrs let us take an example of smpr previously in parallel interlocking circuits if smpr is used we require about 20 to 25 uh, contacts means 4 to 5 relays are required but now one input is enough we can use that input any number of times that is the advantage of ei only control relays are required that is hr dr these are all the control relays in output side space in relay room is reduced substantially as the number of relays has come down the place requirement has also come down and reduction in power supply number of relays has come down power supply requirement has also come down reduction in wiring interconnection and fuses because of these reduced relays wiring the failures naturally will come down at the same time this is more reliable ea is more reliable means uh, once it is fixed no one can change it and uh, interference or shortcuts in ea is not possible hence enhances safety due to less relays and accessories suitable for ac electrified areas also even 25 kv area this system can be used air conditioning if provided is good but otherwise it is not mandatory self diagnostic features any failure in system is easily diagnosed it is also having an inbuilt data logger system and diagnostic system also diagnostic system any failure in the system is available for us on the uh, maintenance PC or on the operator console console also faulty module can be immediately replaced by spare module hence the downtime of equipment is reduced all the EIs are module based card based any card is defective very easy to remove the system should be switched off remove the card replace the card again switch the system switch down so the time for attending it is very easy because they are module based next vdu operation is self explanatory and very very easy it has an inbuilt data logger apart from that it is less to pro prone to shortcut methods whenever such thing is done total system shut down if wrong feed comes across the conventional block let us say double line block instrument or diodo let it be any block instrument it can be interfaced with the ei conventional block automatic block intermediate block system can be incorporated in the ei system circuitry directly any alterations in the yard alterations due to yard remodeling require very less wiring in relay room for example a new point is provided previously wherever that point uh, has to be uh, required in the circuit we have to do wiring for all those circuits now just one nwkr is brought inside and an input is given to the ei 
then every rest all is software based no hardware wiring is required that is the major benefit of ea cpu card is to be loaded with the new application software whenever there is any remodeling hence less manpower and less time is required ea can be interfaced with the block instruments also with msdacs ufsbis and such other uh, latest signaling systems with so many advantages the disadvantages need not be discussed there are very less disadvantages in ea the ea system mainly consists of two sections what are they it is hardware and software main the basic hardware structure here i am discussing about the mlk2 or you can say hitachi ea kyosan ea and meda ea whenever we are discussing different cards so the motherboard is the basic requirement for all ea's just like uh, a computer requires a motherboard in microlock 2 it is called as a card file while in kyosan it is logic sub rack either it is e5 e6 and then in meda it is called as bin while the cpu pcb cpu pcb in microlock 2 it is called as cpu card in kyosan the same is called as f4864i and in meda it is called the cvc card if you take power supply pcb then in microlock 2 it is called as power supply ps card in kyosan it is ipu 6c card and in meda opsb and opsc what are the vital input cards called in microlock 2 it is uh, in 16 card where 16 inputs can be given to each card that is why it is called in 16 it is nothing but an input card pio2 log card in kyosan while in meda it is called occi card vital output card it is output 16 in microlock 2 kyosan it is called pio2 parallel input output card which is available in the log uh, sub rack then this is what is called in meda going further non vital input output pcb non vital input output pcb previously it was vital now this is non vital in non vital it is called generally non vital it is called panel processor is available or some inputs which are not very much directly related to interlocking become non vital so non vital in 32 out 32 card so 32 inputs and 32 outputs are used here that is why it is called non vital in 32 out 32 card while in kyosan it is mif2 card while in meda it is called ppip and ppop card fail safe health monitoring relay what is the system it is just like our cross protection in normal signaling system so you can say cross protection system for the whole system this is a vital cut off relay in mlk2 in kyosan it is kv o v kyosan vital cut off relay while in meda also it is called vital cut off relay then synchronization between system a and system b here in ea we have redundancy system a and system b two systems are working in parallel giving outputs accordingly here sync board sync card is used for synchronization between two systems both systems will be disk, uh, uh, speaking with each other regularly and sharing their information that is possible in microlock 2 with sync card in kyosan it is called a did card and in meda it is called vic card similarly communication card is very important vital card which is required to communicate with object controllers or uh, opc Uh, mtc let it be so communication card in microlock 2 is called ecb electronic communication board while in kyosan it is called fsio and fsio 7 cards while in meda it is called as ccc card and maintenance terminal this maintenance terminal is uh, available in all the eis 
for um, maintenance of uh, system in loading unloading checking out any uh, defects or anything this is uh, in microlock 2 called as a maintenance tool program maintenance tool program is uh, a software based system provided in the maintenance terminal through which we can monitor upload download all the softwares also in qson it is called the maintenance console or the mtc while in meda it is called uh, maintenance uh, tool which is in meda if we come to software the basic uh, software of the system has two layers it is called the executive software or you can also call it as a system software you can consider this as just like uh, our windows operating system used in our computer you, it is common into all computers whenever you purchase a computer you need to provide windows operating software and that is common to any type of uh, computer laptop whatever you purchase this is also available in our ei the next one is your application software you can just consider it like our files in our computer so after purchasing the computer and providing uh, the basic software you have many files which you create as your own requirement so this similarly application software is station specific which is specific to the user and different from system to system and from station to station in one station it can be application software based on the yard at that place in another station the yard is different so it will have a different application software the executive software or application software are programmed into read only memories by the manufacturer both the rom's shall be separate and isolated from each other now comparing them the executive and software and application software let us see through this table executive software is common to all eis of the same manufacturer while application software is yard specific different for different stations this executive software is factory installed while the application software is installed at site by the signal engineers this uh, performs all the operations connected to your uh, uh, interlocking while this performs as per the table of control of the specific station it is not possible to modify the executive software executive software is we cannot modify executive software once it is finalized and decided by the uh, company original equipment manufacturer based on the approval given by rds4 we no, no one can modify it while application software we can modify it as if it is a facility to modify software as and when required whenever there is the art uh, work new work we can change the application software this basically executive software basically pertains to the principles of interlocking the principles of interlocking on which this executive software is based while the application software is on table of control which we call as toc the executive software is programmed in the system eproms while the same which is uh, available the same eproms are used in application software also the, at the concerned station thank you jai hind